what's up YouTube so as we are on the precipice of actual information coming out from Camp Nintendo about what the switch is gonna be sometime in January they were like less than a month away from from this shit actually happening you know we're finally gonna thankfully oh god please let it be the end of every fucking rumor and everything else that that is going on for the past like two years we could finally end this hopefully still people might find other reasons to come up with bullshit I don't know but we're finally gonna get all the information you know launch details price details technical details I don't know online details probably most likely whatever the online interaction is gonna be and stuff like that. So hopefully all that is finally going to come out and we finally put to bed all these free... I thought we were done with the rumors when they finally revealed them a couple... about a month ago. But oh god, was I dead wrong. It just led to even more rumors from this point forward and stuff like that. But finally, Nintendo is going to come out and they're going to tell us everything that we want to know. Or at least what they think we want to know. Or at least what they think we need to know. I don't, I don't know. But anyway... Um, my point is, even though, you know, we have all these rumors about stuff going on, what we've been hearing is a lot of the third-party developers are, are mostly positive about, about the Switch. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know if anybody came out saying anything negative yet. Um, it, I, I'm not really looking for any of this information, to be honest with you. There are a lot of people who, like, they get up, and the first thing they do is, like, they go and research what they can find, if any, any type of news about, about the Switch. Um, I don't do it because I'm not a news-centric channel. I'm not here to bring news to people about, like, specs or anything like that. And stuff like that. So I, I just go, I just rant about shit like that. I'm not, like, a Nintendo-sponsored channel. I'm not a news channel or anything like that. So I don't really deal with that kind of shit. But, uh, there are people who get up every day in the hopes they, find, they hear something good about, about the, about the Switch. And, see, that leads to another problem. Because, so far... There's mostly positive news, whether it be rumors or outright, like, actual statements um, about the Switch that seem overly positive. So, you know what that means. It means people have to, have to, they need to go out there and they need to find something negative. They need something bad, they need bad news about this thing. They just need bad news because it absolutely seems to kill them inside that this thing might actually be good. Like, seriously. There are people who I swear they get up, they, they sit there and they get online, they're all typing, they're like, and, and they're just looking, looking for anything that might be bad news about about the Switch. And then they're like, you know, some people do it because they know they're gonna get it, it's clickbait, you know, they're gonna they're gonna get the views. They're they're gonna get they're gonna get the comments, they're gonna get the views, they're gonna get the likes, they're gonna get the dislikes, they know they're gonna get interaction from the audience because they're gonna go ahead and you know, whether the whether it should be positive, like, yeah, you tell them, you tell those Nintendo fanboys how stupid they are, or they're gonna get the, how dare you, you're an idiot, you know this thing is gonna be awesome, and you're just, you're just scared of it, because you're a little bitch, or some shit like that. So they know they're gonna get, they don't really give a shit what the interaction is, they just know they're gonna get it, and they're gonna comment bad, because every time they comment, that that's, has them come back, and that's another view for the video, for the most part. But there are some people out there who generally, for some whatever reason, want this thing to actually fail. And for reasons why, I don't know. I can never understand why people want a console to fail. Like, at all. Like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the PS4. I mean, I love I love PS3. I thought it was great. The PS4, I think, is just, like, like, boring. But it's whatever. You know, it's there. It's successful. Who gives a shit? But, like, people are just sitting there like, Ugh, I gotta find, I gotta find something that Sony did to make them look bad. And they're like, I gotta find things that Xbox did. They make it, and both both companies, by the way, have plenty of things to, to make them look like fucking idiots. I'm not gonna lie. You know, Microsoft and Xbox did some stupid shady shit. PS4 and Sony done some shady stupid shit. It's it's nothing new. But it's like it's this thing that's happened. But we're focused on the Switcher. I think that's not even out yet. By the way, PS4 and Xbox One are out. We see the mistakes they're making. We know where they're. We know where they're. We know where their strengths are, and we know where the weaknesses are because we've had experience with them. Now we've we've had three years of experience with these things. But the switch isn't even out yet. It's not. You know, people are just trying to find ways why third parties not gonna be on this thing. Even though, they're, even though they're, a lot of third parties said, "Hey, we can put games on here, no problem. It got this chipset, and it's good enough, and we can we can do it." And now people are like, 
oh, it's going to be less powerful than PS4. We kind of figured that it would be. You know, it's just it's, that wasn't the problem. Okay, so if it's if it's like weaker than the PS4, it doesn't matter. The Xbox One is weaker than the PS4, and it gets the same fucking games. Like, so it's obviously able to put these games on the system with little to no issue. Just like when they're making games for PS4 and Xbox One. And guess what? When the Scorpio comes out, and now the PS4 Pro is out, guess what? You can buy the same game for either system. Yeah, that's right. You got a Pro? Oh, buy your PS4. It's, it's the same It's the same version. It just upscales whatever the... F it just fucking upscales it. It's pretty much what the Xbox One... Next, Xbox Scorpio is going to do, more or less. So it's just, it's just like slightly enhanced systems that you can play the games on either one. So when Xbox Scorpio comes out, I can still buy and play games from my regular Xbox One because it doesn't make a fucking difference. They're still, when they make the game, it's gonna be for the systems as well. That's what it's gonna be. And it's the same thing, looking the same way with the Switch. That they're basically like somewhere between PS4 and Xbox One and still capable of holding down the games, still capable of doing games for this generation. But people are out there and they just want this thing to be bad. They're just like, oh, is it? They sit there, big smile on their face, and they read any kind of bad rumor for this thing. They're looking, around, oh, all of a sudden, oh, oh, look, at, oh, there it is, there it is, oh, that, there, there, there's a, there's a, oh, how to say, it? oh, 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 that's bad, that's bad, that's bad right there. Oh, it's saying it might not hold third party. Third party's gonna abandon Nintendo again. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They might. I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm not a fucking. I can't tell the future. I'm hoping they don't. Even though, like, basically, I like. Just because, like, some of these third-party games come to the Switch doesn't mean I'm going to actually buy them. Because I didn't buy these games on the fucking Xbox and PS4. Why am I going to buy them on the Switch? Why, why am I, I going to fucking do that? Sure, there might be some games to look forward to that are actually going to find their way to the Switch, and I don't have to buy a PS4 to play them, or I don't have to play them on Xbox, or whatever. I don't know. But you still got to factor in a lot of things when the Switch comes out. Like, how's the online going to be? What if this game comes out for Xbox... PS4 and the Switch, but the online works better on the Xbox One, so I'll probably get the Xbox One version, play it online, even though I really actually don't play any games online anyway, even on my Xbox, I don't... Huh. I don't think of that. But, anyway, it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm hoping that... See, what I'm hoping for the Switch is what I hope for the Wii U, and, well, that apparently didn't work out, is yes, I wanted third party. I wanted different third party. I didn't want the same shit that was coming out for the other two systems. I wanted third parties to take a chance and make a game exclusive for Nintendo. Or start off, if, if, the if you put the game on Nintendo and it does good, and then they and, they, and then they decide, okay, now it's going to be multi-plat, that's fine. Like, experiment. Put something fun on this, on this new system that you don't really want to do on the Xbox or PS4 yet, you want to test the waters, and hey, if it comes to Nintendo, it's third-party exclusive first, and then does well, and the third party's like, okay, hey, you know what, why don't we go ahead and move this to the new systems? I'd be okay with that. People are going to be upset about that. They're going to be like, ah, 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 how dare you, ah, and then people are like, ha, ha, it's no longer exclusive, it's no longer exclusive. It's like, that doesn't matter. If the game is good on one system, chances are it's going to go multi-plat so they can get more money. I didn't, that's not the, the problem is. And like, even if third party does come to Switch in the same exact form as Xbox and PS4, guess what? That's also a problem because it's coming to Switch in the same exact form of PS4 and Xbox One. Because then you'll, guess what you'll have? You'll have patches. You'll have day one patches, day one DLC, um, season passes, all that. Guess what? None of that's going anywhere. It's going to be on the Switch just as much as it's going to be on the P Xbox One, the PS4, and even PC. You, you get that, right? Like, there's going to be no fucking difference whatsoever, like, between any of that. Like, you're still going to get the same amount of game. Depending, even, even if it depends on what kind of format it comes on. A lot of people are saying that Switch is going to use cartridges. There's little cartridge things that would be okay, I guess, as long as... Because cartridges are way more, like, way more easier to use now than they were back then. So there could be that. So there's a, there's a, there's a lot of positive and negative things to look, to to think about when the switch comes out. So even if it does get third party, that's the problem with third party. It's still going to get the same exact third party with the same exact third party problems. See, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't really like get that part. They want to sit there and talk about how oh PS4. I mean 
the Nintendo, they can't hold down, they can't hold down third party, uh, third party. But, you know, you get third party on other systems, and guess what? You have a new set of problems. Yeah, you got third party, but guess what? You got rushed third party. You got glitchy third party. You got constantly need to be patched third party. Yeah, you got DLC. And DLC can be a good thing, but they've perverted the form of DLC in the past couple of years, and it's really bad. You, you got disc lock content that you need to pre-order from another store to get that. Or you got, if you want this part of the game, you got to pre-order here. It's like, all that still going to be there. There's not going to be a difference at all. Anyway, I think I went off on a different type of rant here. But anyway, like I was saying, for people who sit there and, like, they're sitting there looking for a bat, just give the... Shut up! All right? Look, we all know you're doing this for clicks. You know, you're doing this for attention because nobody pays attention to you otherwise. Nobody cares what you think unless you're saying something negative about Nintendo or whatever like that or anybody, any, other, any other system. But, yeah. So, it's just like, I don't get why people sit there and they dedicate their time. Like I said, I know why some people do it. Because they know they're gonna, they know they're gonna get the views, but there are other people out there who are genuinely, genuinely just waiting for this to fucking just. They want it to fail because they'll, they'll feel like some poor, they'll, they'll be like some personal pride and victory to them, even though they had nothing to do with it. It's like they're like, yes, I won because this system failed. Like, no, you didn't. Stop being fucking stupid.